All right, so I'm gonna be playing some Wild Frost today. Uh, it's basically my first day playing it, and I gotta say, I like it so far. It is, uh, it's being touted as being too difficult, but uh, I have to disagree. It's, it's like if you just jumped into Monster Trainer, say the Spire at a higher covenant. I mean, I guess I get it why people are complaining, because like maybe your average player just is like leagues behind, but I don't know. It's just kind of weird to me that like a game like Dark Souls gets universal praise for doing literally the same thing. So we'll see. You'll, you'll see though, it's a pretty cool game. Very much like Monster Train and Slay the Spire kind of esque but with definitely their own unique spins on things. So I'll go ahead and, oh, you know what? I just realized this stupid OBS is not working. Here, let's just do this. Okay, I think that fixed it. <laughs> anyway, um, so your leader is kind of randomly generated at the start. And they're uh, basically, you can think of it as your pyre or your character in STS. If they die, you're dead. Um, they'll go onto the battlefield, but you can get other units as well. So, and also the banner down at the bottom signifies which like clan or whatever you're going to be playing with. Um, I have had the most luck with this group. So maybe I'll just stick with that. Looks like Snon here has Barrage. That's the same thing as Sweep from Monster Train. I don't think it's as powerful as Sweep because there's two different rows and it only hits the one row. But it's definitely good. I've, I've found the most success with these Barrage versions of the champ. Uh, this one would be interesting though. Three Overburn. But... Uh, it's a little misleading. It only applies that overburn to the first enemy and then does a one damage barrage, whereas this guy is doing a four damage barrage. Uh, much better. All of them are relatively squishy as far as these champions go. Um, I think I'll do this one. This one would be interesting too. I just haven't had much luck with like the starter clan. Uh, and then we can choose our pet here. There's still a lot of cards I haven't unlocked yet, but uh, I don't know. I think uh, Spike is all right. Kind of just, it basically just teeth is the same thing as Spikes from Monster Train. And Snoof has been all right. Let's go with Snoof. Like he's actually just been my bread and butter. All right, so uh, this is your starting cards. It'll always just start with the hero for now, but once I get to the first shop, I can maybe show you a little more of what's going on there. So my guy has barrage. Um, that means he'll attack anybody in this row, but he will not attack that row. Unless nobody existed in this row, then he would attack that row. Now the interesting thing about this game is you can reposition your guys at any point. They'll always default to the forward most position in a row. Um, you'll notice this number five here, the counter, number two on these guys. Uh, the way it, it's, it's a little interesting. We don't have energy or ember like a lot of these other card schemes have. Every card played costs the same resources essentially. And what happens is once I play a card, all of these counters go down. Once the counter gets to zero, the unit will take an action. So it's generally nice to, uh, you know, get maybe a unit into play earlier. Um, however, these guys have really low counter. So I could also probably argue for just using gear hammer on them. There's also a counter over here says five that means once that hits zero or if i kill all the enemies more enemies will start pouring in so let's go ahead and just take these out nice thing about this uh 
You have this gear hammer. They're called items. You can think of them as a spell. Um, you know, this one has two attack, so I can kill the two health here, but actually the next time I play it, it'll have three, because I'm gaining one. It resets at the start of each battle, but in this, the context of this battle, these are continuing to get stronger. Now we can put down our snoof. We're taking our time killing the naked gnome. We actually might have benefited from not having these on the same counter. Um, if we wanted, we could just snow Zuka this. Also, there's a counter in the bottom right. Um, once this one it has a number and every turn I take it goes down, and once it's past, you know, one and goes to zero, I can take a free redraw. If I clicked it right now, I'd have to pay a turn to redraw. We'll go ahead and just put this into play. See, now I can just redraw for free without taking a turn. Um, no matter what, this is not going to be a great turn for me, but what I could do is just add some damage to, like, my sweeper here, and reduce the cooldown, which I might do. It also gets rid of this junk. This junk card here doesn't do anything, however, there's this keyword recycle. It's kind of integral to this clan that will only be able to be used if I have junk in hand, and then it will consume it. So I just gave my guy... Uh, one flat attack buff, and also increased his counter. So new enemies come in. Goblin, this guy is kind of like the collector. Um, he'll run away once his counter gets down, but every time I attack him, whether I damage him or not, he'll give me a four gold. So we may as well greed here and try to put in as many hits here as we can. Keep in mind I can also you know, switch these around. So, the the enemy here is about to attack, so is my snoof. Enemies, all the enemy attacks always resolve before your own attacks, so that's one thing to keep in mind. Now this guy will attack whatever's here, so if I wanted to tank it with snoof, I could, but I might as well have Junkhead tank it. Now keep in mind, if Snon dies, my whole, I'm, it's game over. If Snoof dies, you know, Snoof is my pet, uh, it isn't without consequence. It will be in an injured state for the next battle, which basically halves its stats. And then he has to survive that battle to get uninjured. Junkhead, though, is just created from a spell, so it doesn't matter if Junkhead dies. Also, you notice, you know, we have the three health, six health, we have three scrap here. It's different than health. Um, It'll get eaten up by this guy, unfortunately. I could just tank this hit with Snon, which is probably smarter. Um, yeah, we could do that. Otherwise, Junkhead will just completely get eaten up. Uh, but the way it works is I could take... This guy is basically has multi-strike here. Frenzy's basically like multi-strike, but even better, because it like it'll attack, but it'll also do any other action alongside it. So like if I was Snoof, I would apply the, um, if I had multi, if I had Frenzy with Snoof, I would be applying the snow every time. Snow just makes it so their counter basically gets frozen one for one turn, or however many snow you have, it basically gets frozen for that amount. So since Snon has six health, we'll just tank it here with him. And let's go ahead and kill the goblin and let Snoof attack the Waddle Goons here. But yeah, so the. Uh, you'll notice, like, if this guy had, say, three attack and still had the three frenzy, Snon would be dead. However, Junkhead only takes one damage per hit. It doesn't matter how much the attack is. So you can use that to your advantage against guys that have really high attack. Okay, we could... let's see, we got two turns. We don't want this guy to waste his attack. Um, so why don't we go ahead and freeze this. We can kind of stall out and try to make sure that Snoof attacks once these guys come in. Uh, it's too bad I don't have any junk in my hand. I can't actually use this Sunsong box because of it. I actually would want to do that. 
just continue buffing him, but it's all good. We'll just kill that because we don't have anything better to do. So here comes the boss. There will always be a boss in each of these fights at the end. This guy is by far the easiest. Um, every time I kill an enemy, his uh, attack will go up. However, if I wanted to, I can basically silence him with ink. Ink, uh, it counts down every turn. Keep in mind, a turn happens anytime I play a card. Um, so for four cards, basically, this guy would not be gaining this attack when ally is killed, because I will basically silence the card text there. Uh, there's arguments for each, like, I might want to just take the Pangoons out, because keep in mind, it doesn't matter if Peng, if Big Peng gets a bunch of damage here, because, like I said, the scrap just kind of eats it, so I think I'd rather just take these out. We can take one hit here, it's fine. Now we're pretty much guaranteed to win. Go ahead and take... Notice how the attack on all these gear hammers is up to four. It's actually doing a ton of attack. Um, in order to min-max, you do want to kill all the minions before the boss, because once the boss dies, the fight is over, and you might miss out on some gold. Um, so this guy's doing 5 attack, but it won't matter because Junkhead's going to just destroy him. Let's see, he had 5 attack, but it only took one of his things off. And now Big Ping is dead. Gnome travels actually pretty good with this character that I am. Um, so the way these map events work, they're obviously... It's very similar to Monster Train, and probably more similar to Monster Train than it is Slay the Spire, but like, so Gnome Traveler is going to offer me three cards, and if I take them, it will add a permanent junk to my um, deck here. You'll notice I already start with one here. Uh, it's more of a downside with the other clans, but with this clan, there's a lot of cards that actually benefit from having junk, such as Sunsung Box, but we can add more. Uh, so I might just be inclined to do that. Um, I think I will. If I went this way, the Frozen Travelers is basically like a banner. You get your banner units. Um, Charm is interesting. Uh, it's kind of like, I would say, a card upgrade. Um, they're pretty good. I actually, like, I wish this was a charm. I'd rather have a charm than a treasure in most cases. Treasure is just a card draft. One that I can't skip, by the way. I do have to take it. I wish you could skip them. But, like, I can skip them and own tra Traveler, right? I don't have to take any of these. I like that more. So I can take all three of these if I want. Um, Plinker here looks pretty okay. Um, it's, like, kind of a weird chump blocker. It has five scrap, which is a lot, right? But uh, you'll notice the counter is one. Uh, he loses one scrap every time he attacks. So he'll attack fast, but he'll burn out fast. Um, Foggy Brew is consume. As we know, that just means I can only play it once in that battle. It's aimless, which means in the row I target in, it will be random who it hits, which kind of sucks uh, a lot of the time with this card, but this card can be incredibly powerful. Uh, well, uh, it, basically it's a confusion. It makes the enemy attack themselves, and if you hit like one of their big units, it's it's pretty wild. It's like a removal... It's like a... It, it's a really good uh, swing play if you can hit it. Now the Gacha Pomper would be better if I didn't already have a unit that had Virage. Um, you know, I got Snoof. I'll be getting a unit after this, but we don't know who we're getting. And then Snon already has Barrage, so I think we'll go with the Foggy Brew. Um, we added a Junk. I don't think I'll add these. We don't want to fill our deck too much with Junk until we have, like, payoff for it. And now we only have one Recycle card that's not really good enough. And see here, we're not getting anything, but these are solid cards. Um, reduce 
the target's effects by one. That's a pretty wild one in some cases. You're basically permanently silencing some enemies. Uh, you do have to have a, a little bit of patience with it, though, because it's mainly going to be good on bosses. Um, and then Bite Bucks and Frost Bloom are just always good. Bite Bucks can potentially just, like, one-hit a boss. Um... Frost Bloom is just a really good defensive card. I'm gonna play around with Frostbite Shard just because I I've seen it and I've wanted to take it and I just never have yet. So now we can take our banner unit. Uh huh. Hmm. Be honest, I don't love any of these with my deck. Um Might actually be the chump blocking dude. I was really hoping for an actual uh, like n these guys aren't in my clan. It's kind of annoying. I wish that I wish you were guaranteed to get at least one in your clan. But yeah, so we don't have any frost. Well, we do technically have one frost, but um, I mean, I don't know. Snobble could be okay. Uh, he does. I mean, between the Snow Zooka and the Snoof, maybe we can just stack Frost on some enemies. The thing is, the the most of the hard game on enemies in this game have something called Frost Resistance, which basically makes it so I can only apply one at a time anyway, and I can't stack, or I can't even. It's not even that I can't apply one at a time; it's that I just can't stack beyond one. So I find the Snow is limiting. It's really only good for minions. Um. Whereas Blunky could just... Bonnie has been useless every time I've tried to use her. Um, it She doesn't even heal herself. Uh, she's not tanky. She just sits there not attacking, and the heal is really slow. I think we'll just take Blunky. So I can maybe show off um, another aspect of this. Uh, you know, along with being able to rearrange my units, I can also take them in and out of battle. It's pretty wild. And honestly, I think a big part of the skill ceiling is going to be knowing how to do that, right? So Mimic can really fuck you up uh, if you're not paying attention, but we might just want to take him out early. These Frost Singers are pretty annoying. They don't do much damage, but they do attack quite often with only three counter. And they do uh, Frost, which is basically Sap basically sap but um instead of ticking down it actually just let's say i had five stacks uh, it would put me down to minus one attack however once i attack uh it would clear all of the stacks so it's not like sap in monster train exactly uh, it, it all clears at once we want to save this for the boss um Snowzuka also has this thing called Critical, which means it'll double the effect of the card if it's the rightmost. Um, so you might just get lucky and have it be your rightmost card, but otherwise you're going to have to like empty your hand to get there. Uh, it would be pretty weird to empty all of this out and play that, I would say, because Junk just isn't easily taken out here. Most likely we'll just be able to play it on one of these two cards. It's not the greatest uh, opening hand here, but let's just get going. Um, I don't really want to lose attack, but I also don't really want to start filling my deck up with junk um, and just wasting charges onto a one attack guy. Uh, I could freeze this guy. Yeah, let's freeze him. I do have the option to just re-roll the deck, too. Um, maybe that would be better. So I think what I'll do is I'll actually just block this. And... See if we can get something else to absorb this hit. 
Blinky will be fine. At least I can... Or Blinky, I guess. Oops. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to put Snon up here first. Um, I definitely messed that up. Because Snon was going to finish Porcupine off. Now I, now I totally messed that up. So here's the thing about Blinky. Um, I can just pull him out at no cost. And then I can replay him. And it actually heals him too. It did, he only has one health, so it doesn't matter. But if I wanted to heal a guy, I could just do that. That's why, again, I'm like... That AoE healer girl just doesn't seem that useful to me because I can get a better heal doing that anyway. Um, Sun Sun Bucks is really good. We have a junk to use it with. It sucks that we haven't been able to find Snoof. You'll notice also there's no priority draw in this game, really. There is a crown system that I'll hopefully get to later, but. I'll explain that later, but, you know, unlike Monster Train, we're not guaranteed to get anything uh, in terms of draw order, aside from stuff that has a crown on it. Stuff that has a crown, I play the very, f we'll say the zeroth turn for free before anything happens. But other than that, there's no priority draw. Let's go ahead and get my... Hmm, I want to kill both of them, but I can't really do that. This guy has four attack. I think this thing I need to kill more. Um, yeah, let's kill this. Hmm. I really screwed myself by not putting Snon up here. The, the game's really unforgiving by that, by the way. Like, you make one mistake and you are kind of just dead. I think what we're going to have to do is uh, eat these hits with Junkhead. Can I put him back? I can actually put Junkhead back. I didn't even realize that. Well, I'm going to reduce my cooldown. Yeah, this is really the only thing I can do. I could do this and then this guy won't attack me. It's probably best. And this guy's gonna go for two that hits and then that hits, but I think I save one health by doing this play. I do lose a damage though, but it doesn't matter because four is the breakpoint I need to be at anyway. We'll keep him down here this time. I'm not going to greed for the money. I already messed everything up, so that's just out of the question. I can finally get Snoof in here. Let's go ahead and do that. He'll outpace the Porcupine here. Alright, that's a good hit, Snon. Well done. Boss will be coming in soon. So Snoof will... He won't kill him unless I hit him with a gear hammer. Maybe I'll just do that then. The ringer. When hit, apply two frost to a random enemy. Now he has this thing I'm talking about, which is resist snow. Can only have a maximum of one snow. So it's like, I don't know. Snow is good when it's good, but against a lot of bosses it's completely useless. So you don't want to like focus your whole deck around it, in my opinion. Um, so if I could kill this guy, I can guarantee that this guy gets the, uh, the confusion. Or I could just go for 50-50 here, and then this guy just doesn't attack me anyway. It's an option as well. Yeah, do I want to take this hit? I think I'm going to Foggy Brew here. Just go for the 50-50. Um, let's say it hits Frost Stinger. As long as it doesn't attack Porcupine, it's still a good hit. It's still helping me out quite a lot. 
Alright, it did hit him. Yeah, at least it hit the Frost Stinger. So at least he can't do damage to me. Um, let's see. He'll free snoo for ages with four snow. Um, I could probably just silence him. Then we'll redraw. That breakpoint on the of three is not so hot. Snowzuka is really not coming in the right order here. So I could reduce his effects by one. It would still apply one. Um, so there, he's gonna attack, he's gonna attack. Problem is, if I hit this guy with a gear hammer, it will frost my guys, and it's not necessarily the best for me. Let's just try to take this out, I guess. Normally I'm doing better by now, but I just, I don't know, I didn't get offered a unit that's actually in my clan, so like, all of this junk stuff, I, I made the big mistake, right, and then, yeah, so on and so forth, so he's doing five, we're probably just gonna have to have Snoof tank this, we're gonna have a tough time winning this. Don't know that we can. Gonna have to shoot. Eh, I don't have to shoot this. No, I do. My only hope is that I have... I have Blunky. Blunky can do some work. Um, only question is... So he has this uh, block, which will block any damage, but it's kind of on a horrible turn here. I guess I could actually just tank this. It kind of makes sense. I still got the two health, and then I can shift Blunky back to the front to take that hit. Um, I don't think I have time to try to kill the Frostinger, so I really should try to focus on killing this, uh, the ringer. Now we want to move you back. You're only doing one damage. Now let's do that then. Just completely silence him for a little bit. He's back to 5 damage, uh, maybe I can accelerate things here. See, I can't take Blunky out here though. I could try YOLO redraw. Um, no, I couldn't because I have still more than 5 cards here. So we'll redraw. I can, I can freeze him. Uh, yeah, if I freeze him, I think we're good. Then I just uh, do my strongest attacks here. Alright, we barely made it through. Blunky actually definitely the right call, I think. So, as you can see, you can make a mistake and recover from it. It's not the most difficult thing in the world. Um, but you definitely can't fuck around too much. We only have 93 gold. Uh, it would be kind of weird to hit a Charm Merchant and a Wooly Snail. That's like two merchants in a row. So I think we're just by default going to have to go to the top here. Let's see if we can get an actual unit that uses trash. 
darn. Darn, darn, darn. We don't want Fulby. We already have too much trash in the deck and not anything to do with it. It's probably BG. I don't know, though. Both BG and Demona kind of do the same thing. Uh, BG... Maybe Demona's better here. So Demona basically has melee weakness. Um, so both of the units have six health and no attack. They could gain attack. There's two di different types of things with these units. They either have zero attack, which means they technically attempt an attack, and you can add attack to them. And there are some other units that just don't have an attack marker, and they never can actually attack. And you can't add attack to them. So what happens is Demona and BG, they'll attack at zero. You could buff them if you want, but the main thing here is they'll apply these debuffs. Um, Demona uses de Demonize, which is like melee weakness, just doubles the damage taken. Then it counts down. You can stack multiple and that will actually persist. Uh, it won't do like triple damage, but it'll keep doing double for every stack that you burn. Whereas the bomb is more of a flat damage debuff and it doesn't tick down. So if I apply it, it'll stay on the enemy forever unless some specific thing happens. But instead of doing like double damage, it just does flat damage. But that's pretty nice because, you know, if I attack with zero, and double, nothing happens. If I attack with zero and they have this on them already, it actually does still do that two damage. And also if I use like a spell on them, it'll do it. So I often find that bomb is better, but with our deck right now, I'm not so sure. It would be better with the Blunky maybe, because the Blunky attacks pretty often. That's one thing I've kind of overlooked with this unit is a counter of two is really small. So I think actually BG is better here. Card draft. Hopefully it's something with recycle. Nope, just I love Proto Stomper, but we have somehow like gotten to zero recycle. This is a pretty low roll run. Um pretty disappointing to be honest. So I could take the totem of the goat. It's basically a fragile chump blocker, or I could put it in the back if I want it to stick around. Basically anytime an attack enemy attacks they'll get melee weakness applied. It can be okay. The berry blade is okay as well. I think it has more this has more synergy with the unit we just added. Um, you know, it basically does three attack and then plus if they have that debuff on them it'll do more. And then it will restore health equal to the damage dealt, which actually could I believe will count for you know, if I get that extra damage, it heals that extra amount. So maybe I'll take the berry blade here. Okay, sunscreen is really good. That's a recycle card I can get behind. Unfortunately, it consumes, so it's still kind of a one and done. Um, I, Frost Bell's all right. I, Slap Crackers could be pretty good in this deck. Um, scrap Pile, I don't think so. It is discounted though. You can also buy a random charm for 50 gold. The crown is really good, uh, but it would be all of my gold here if I want it. So the crown is basically what I was talking about with the priority turn zero. Basically the turn where I place Snon down, I could give a crown to any card here. I can also either put the unit down or play like a buff or, a, or any of these spells really. Um, I just don't know that, like maybe, uh, honestly, maybe it would be worth putting the crown on like BG. Um, you know, her counter of four, the sooner we can start applying these bomb, the better. But I don't think it's worth my whole shop here. I think we'd rather just get a sunscreen. Um, this is like a, uh, a reduction. It's, it's so, you know how... I have the sun song. It says count down by one. It's just like a temporary countdown. This one reduces the overall count on the unit that is required to take an action. So it's really powerful. I think we are pretty much inclined to take that. 
And then the only other thing I could afford to be scrap pile, but it's just not really that useful for my deck. I mean, I could put it on literally just Junkhead. So, Junkhead hasn't, is still not really an integral part of this deck. So, we just, we came in with pretty low gold, unfortunately. Um, there wasn't much else we could do, though. Just gonna have to fight the boss. I suppose the crown, I, <laughs> taking that card was my whole shop anyway, so maybe maybe the crown was worth considering, but I think that card's just pretty good. Okay. Winter Worm can be annoying. Um, most likely we're just taking Snowball with a hammer. Yeah, it doesn't really matter where I put him, I guess. Okay, we got BG at the start, that's good. Probably what I want to do here is play BG first to get the counter ticking. Um, I can get the skier hammer here. I definitely need the junk head in here. And I could Flask of Ink Bamboozle, that way it doesn't hit all of my people. I think that's pretty good. I could choose to uh, hold on to these things, but I don't think so. By the way, now we have the bomb applied. So like, I could do this, but I think I'd rather get a different card. Okay, so he will, and by the way, when they're big unit like this, they will hit both of the front units. Um, still, even though he has hit all enemies gone, just by nature of being like a double wide unit, he will attack both of these. BG has enough health here that I think we can maybe place Snoof behind. Snoof is injured because he died that other fight, um, so he has half stats here. And I gotta be honest, so the Foggy Brew right now would be pretty good at either one of these. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, hit the boss, that's fine. I would actually rather hit the Winter Worm, but whatever. So... Winter Worm will just hit Junkhead, that's fine. This is a good turn to get... this in. Um, we don't want this thing alive, so let's just kill that. Make sure to use the Sun Song box. And Snon, I think. Oh, you know what? Okay, never mind. If this set is zero on the attack, so see how Flask event is set similar to like I was talking about with the units. Flask of Ink has a zero attack. Sunsung Bucks doesn't. However, if it did, there are some cards you play on your own people that actually have like a zero attack. Like Junk, for example. Um, it says increase by one when hit. I actually could do that there, and it would increase it by one because it's counting as a zero hit. But I'm pretty sure we just want to redraw here. So this guy's going to do 2 damage. I can let it hit BG. That might just make sense. We don't want to damage him. Otherwise he'll get 4 attack. So... So you have 5 attack. I am going to move you up here though. Because um, I want this... I do want Grouchy dead. Winter Worm has a high enough count that I don't need to worry about him. Okay, we could get Blunky... In. Do I really have no junk here? Really? So I can't play Sun Cream. That's freaking trash, but whatever. I mean, if that's the case, I may want to move Junkhead up in front of Grouchy then. I don't know that BG getting hit here is actually in my best interest. Could always hit my own guy with a gear hammer as well. Yeah, I think I, I do want to get that Sun Scream to be playable. Let's get the Blunky in. We have... All Unfortunately, so this this boss is about to get killed, but he's going to split into two and 
the debuff will be gone and I have to start reapplying it, but that is just what it is. So Bam is the one that we need to worry about. Boozle, not so much. Um, Bam, we need to start focusing on, though. Let's see. I think I want BG to have this um, sun cream. Wild Snoof we definitely have to take out. Um, I can use this gear hammer. Unfortunately, just the breakpoint of two is so bad here. Um, so this guy only does two damage. He does apply one frost, though, which would make my turn not happen. I don't want to... We could probably just take the hit with either Blunky or Snon. Um, just depends on... Let's just take the hit with Blunky and I, I can just pull him back out. Let's start working on the snow if I really can't... Uh, well... Yeah, never mind. Let's just kill the Winter Worm. Oh, I meant to put... Uh, I messed up again. I meant to put BG up here, because we're supposed to be working on Bam. We definitely don't want Boozle to die before Bam, I don't think. I mean, both are annoying in their own way. Maybe with a Blunky, we don't worry about Bam, actually. Uh, let's throw Blunk Blunky back, and let's try to start working on Snoof. Damn. So that's, that was pretty unfortunate. Uh, I find that happens a lot. So Snowbow has Aimless. Hit a random target in the row. You'll notice these guys both have more than enough to survive one attack, but it ended up just killing my junk bot anyway. Uh, one out of three, I guess, isn't that unlucky, but... I'm pretty inclined to do this Snowzooka here. Um... So, Boozle doesn't have this same resist snow annoyance. I think what I'm gonna do is kill here first. I'll let him attack, take the hit. Now I can go apply three. We don't care about this. We almost. We actually should do this. Um, let's do this. Uh, I don't know. Here's the problem. Both Snon and. Snoo for attacking and I want them to attack up here. I could at least give us a 1 out of 3 chance for BG to get hit by Snowbow, and I think that makes sense, but I do want the Snowzooka to now apply double snow to Boozle. So there we go. Uh, unfortunately I hit like the, again, just the worst target for me, but whatever. Uh, if we can uh, kill here, which I think we can, once she hits, she's going to hit Three, I only need to get seven. I should wait on this because I can heal a lot with it after that's there. Um, we can just do a Sun Song box, I guess. Right, you have six. Let's go ahead and do this. Then Bam dies. Um, uh, a little screwed there. I mean, this isn't too bad. He only has two attack. He is attacking twice. I'll just re-roll it. I'll spend a turn here to re-roll. Yeah, here we go. I can, uh, well, I could put Blunky in, but I might as well just snow Zuka. He's got two counter... I guess I actually just put the Blunky in first and then Snowzooka him. Should be fine. He's gonna be locked down. Get him, Blunky. This is Blunky's time to shine. So now we get our, our upgrade because that was the major boss, the first major boss. Um, now, unlike Monster Train, I rarely find myself taking card draw. I've almost always taken redraw bell counter. Uh, 
companion limit isn't what you think. I, I would like this more if it gave me the ability to put more units on a row, but all it does is, uh, right now, I've already I've hit my companion limit of three that I can include in the deck. I can still take more, but I have to switch the units out, basically, so that they can't be played in the battle. Uh, I like all three of these units, really, so I don't think I need to increase that limit. Snoof would probably be the odd man out. Um, but I really do like Blunky and VG. Uh, I think that there's so, so the the Son of the Bell um, upgrade just is so useful in my eyes because uh, it just allows you to get that free reshuffle. It's like it more or less just seems objectively better than card draw to me. Um, you know, you you get one more card in your hand with card draw, but with the Bell Counter, I get a whole like redraw of five full cards an entire turn sooner every single time. So. I think that's way better. Um, I think we'll just switch Snoof out if we find a better unit. I don't think I need to add units. He recovered from his injuries. That's nice. Not that his stats actually suffer that much from being injured, to be honest. It's like one. It's like one attack and one health gone. It's not that big a deal. So we could do Charm, Shade Sculptor. That's a Hell Vent. And a muncher, that's a vortex. That looks incredible to me. Versus having no gold and hitting two shops and a card draft. Yeah, this one's the easiest choice of my life. Is this really the first charm I've gotten this whole run? I'm trying to think, it might be. So, that, as I said, this is kind of like a card upgrade. So, it applies that melee weakness, demonize. Um, we can equip it now or save it for later. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and equip it now, I think. There are reasons to save it, um, either if you think you don't have a good card for it, or in some cases, like, charm ordering can matter. Like, there are some charms where it's like, it will increase whatever is already on the card, and that includes things that are from charms. So, if I had a card like that, I might want to, or if I had a charm like that, I might want to greet it and not put it into something, but... I think we would just put it on Blunky. My reasoning, I can put it on a unit. Um, it, it'll, it'll, once you click it, it'll say which cards it's allowed to go on. I could put it on a unit, or I could even put it on a spell. You obviously wouldn't want to put it on the ones that target our own units, but I'm tempted just to put it on Blunky. I mean, a Blunky attacks every other turn, and I could just keep reapplying melee weakness um and the melee weakness by the way does work with your hammer and spells like that as well so yeah i think blunky is a good user of this it's kind of a catch-22 because uh blunky is kind of a i've been using him as chump blocker a lot of the time but Given my build, I might not do that for too long. I have Chunkhead as really as my chump blocker and Blunky. Like, BG has some tankiness. I wish it was more. Okay, what are we going to have then? Can't have a unit, fortunately. Sun Cream is calling out to me. Sun Cream, Snowzooka. I will say my frost application is pretty poor. You you do want even though I kind of bad mount it, you do want some, and I don't have enough. But I'm leaning toward another sunscreen or a foggy brew. It is kind of weird that my best cards are consumed cards. Um, yeah, I think I will sun cream it up. It's just such a good card. As far as removals, um, I think, oddly, I, I think I keep the junks now, especially that I have the two sun creams. Uh, Frostbite Shard hasn't actually been that good. I've been pretty disappointed with that, what it's done so far, but pretty much Gear Hammer is just the standard removal here, and I, I can't see why that would change. I'd rather have just like two of them anyway. That way they the better ones come back more often. So, those cards are removed. Now what? 
Oh, uh, I don't like this fight. This fight's good if you have spikes. This is a rough one. I usually do better. This this is not a good run. This is one of the worst runs I've had. So, and but that just goes to show, you know. I would almost say, that in my one day of experience playing this game so far, this might be the equivalent of like a curse seed, and still we're getting through it. So is it really gigantically difficult? I I don't think I'm gonna win this run. I might as well throw that out now, but. Blunky is not the unit we want here. So you'll notice these guys are just like... They're basically these high health, low damage multi-strikers. Um, and then Gok is like a slow, tanky, high damage, like, utility unit. Um, oh, this is annoying. Just a horrible draw. I could make it so Blunky is, like, always attacking. And the Junkhead doesn't even eat these up. Well, they're really fast, too, at three. So it's like, if I put Blunky, I, I could put this in. It's weird, but it may be correct just to reroll here. We kind of really do need to get to BG, like, really fast. Um, it would be nice to play the Sun Cream, but... Well, I can tank four here. Let's play the Sun Cream here, I guess. Oh, I should have flash ranked. Unfortunately, I have... Well, Demonize doesn't really matter here. That's actually pretty good that it it, it, it doesn't matter. So now, now it doesn't actually make sense to click this, though, because we can just play a card and then we, we get it anyway. Hmm. Do I just get Junkhead in anyhow? Even though it's going to waste these hits. So now nah, let's just get a gear hammer up. Try to kill this guy. I can move Blinky forward to tank this guy when I need to, and then take him back out. I believe he should retain the stats that I that I buffed him with. Damn it, we didn't try a unit. This is pretty cursed. Pretty damn cursed. At least the Snowzooka is on the right here. Um, problem is, I don't, uh, t two more turns till people are coming in. So we can block this hit. Probably I could sun cream. There's no use doing sun cream again on Blunky, so I could do sun cream here. Oh, it actually jumped ahead and kept Blunky alive. Nice. Or well, he'd be alive, but. I got to retain the, uh, I got to retain the thing, but it, it doesn't actually matter here, because this guy double attacks, it's kind of annoying. I think Blunky's gonna have to die here, actually. I don't see any other way out of this. Don't see any other way out of this. I mean, I bottom decked so fucking hilariously bad here. I don't think I can win this one. Blunky kind of 
needed to live because I already lost Junkhead. Like, I, I don't have any heal. I don't have any defense at all. I, there's literally no way I can win now. I can just go into another run. It's fine. This this is not a... This is, this is the worst run I've had yet. And I should all... You know, I made that one mistake, but that did, it didn't have, like, a cascading effect. Um, this run would be the way it is no matter what. I'm not, I don't want to give up. But I don't know what I can do here. Can't even play that. See you later, Blunky. So many things had to go wrong here. Um, I don't really care about that guy attacking, and I don't necessarily want that in right now. We could just, uh... The Foggy Brew here, even at this point, is pretty bad. But BG... It's just so annoying, because BG would be amazing against these guys, but we frickin' bottom deck her. Uh, get Snoof in... It's like I top deck all the things that would we wanted to play on BG. It just sucks. Okay, Pygmy's attacking again. That guy attacks a lot. I don't know. Maybe we can pull this out. I'm not gonna give up. I guess I do have this for heal. Um, we gotta figure out how what we're what are we doing? Like one of these has to die. Is it snoof then? Or do I just if I had one more speed here, I could get that extra heal here. I guess I could get BG technically... Here's the annoying thing, it's like... In order to get the heal, it has to be the alley in that front row. Alright, whatever. Let's just go... Here. This'll work. Um, at 6, I can survive that hit. So you have to go here. Um, you can survive that. I should probably still try to 50-50 this foggy brew, though, I think. I think I will. I don't know. I feel like I'm so far behind. The boss is about to drop. And this guy confused would be pretty helpful to me. Then I can move BG back to where she really wants to be. And I could also say this, I could... If I'm wanting to get this 50-50, I could just say I'm either going to lose or win. I could go for this 50-50 and then still get the better stats on BG here. I think that makes sense, so let's go for the 50-50. Alright, well, this run was cursed. <clears throat> we lost pretty much every RNG thing that we could have lost there, so fuck it. Let's just start a new one. Um, too bad I can't... I literally couldn't show basically anything off with that clan there. Uh, let's see, restore three on kill, long shot, yank. That could get pretty janky. Could be good though. Yeah, I could show this clan off. Shadow Rook, apply three frost. That's pretty good. That's just uh the six counter sucks though. Maybe I should have considered that more. So for this group, I think I like Spike more. Yeah. 
spikes are really good with this group. Um, I have a lot of buffs to health and chump blockers. Not that the pet wants to be chump blocking, but it'll make sense later. So we got this. This is the one of the best parts about this clan is Jun Jun Mask. I get to summon a Jun Jun. So it's basically a unit and I can keep playing it as I keep drawing it. And yeah, it's a 3-2 with a 3 counter for free, essentially, right? So he's aimless, but he will hit there. Uh, I think that's fine. Just go ahead and kill the snoof. The way the tar blade works, um, just the more of them in your hand, the more damage it does. It says deal damage, deal additional damage equal to tar blades in hand. So we we'll just do two right now. Even though it says zero, it's kind of. I will say the UI could definitely use some work. Let's go ahead and make sure this is frozen nice and good. Probably want to try to greed out some money here. Um, Spike, not so good for getting that. Go ahead and just use our tar blades here. We've got four whole turns until that comes in. This guy's not going to attack anytime soon. We should actually move this guy here. Um, to, we, could, we could do this. Uh, we could get this guy in now, actually. Oh, right. The summons lose health after triggering. I always forget that part of it. But we could replenish that health by just simply doing this. So Barry Bell increased the health by one of the whole group because it's Barrage. Here comes the Snow Knight. Whenever anything is snowed, gain one attack. It's not that hard, honestly. Go ahead and redraw here. I should have just redrawed there, really. It's only doing one attack, so let's let Spike take the hit. We don't want to snow anything necessarily. Here, we'll go like this. guys health up again put you back there um, this can kill that all right got him Definitely the bottom route here. Um, I don't think card draws, they're okay, but as I said, you can't skip them. So if it's like a bad one, meh. And charms just make the stuff that's already in your deck better. And some of them are super good. Some of them are useless, but same with the cards. And Blink Snail Cave is always useful because it's gold. Then we'll get our uh, thing. We want a lot of gold. I need to... Like, really, I found if I can somehow afford crowns comfortably, the runs go quite a lot better, because you just get all those f the free guaranteed draw at the start, along with the guaranteed play. It's like a free draw and a free ember equivalent in Monster Train. Sun Charm, reduce that by one. Let's see, this is a great, amazing... So remember that, that spell I was casting that would reduce the counter? I can just do this. Um, now, I'll be honest though, I, I probably want to hold this one. Um, I don't, it's obviously, it can only be used right now on my hero, and 
basically would mean I can get my heroes count down to five instead of six. It's not necessarily amazing there because I don't think my hero is super great. I'd probably rather just have it on like a good banner that we're about to get on the corner here. We might as well look at the banner first before we lock it in. Once you put that charm in, you can't undo it. Yeah, so... Um, it wouldn't make sense on the egg, but certainly it would make sense on either of these units now. Overburn's an interesting mechanic. It's pretty... It's one of the things you can do with this clan. The thing with Overburn is I think if you... If you go over Overburn... You need to really go all in on it, in my opinion. Um, which is fine. The the problem here is you're always you're always gonna have to take one of these units first, and they're not gonna be able to do that much. Um, but I like taking Shen first here because at least Shen can apply it, whereas Vesta is just doubling the overburn, but we don't have any current overburn cards. So I can add Shen. On the other hand, I could just add the egg, which is super good. Um, you just put it down, it tanks a bunch of hits, and turns into a unit that has 4 health, 5 damage, and 3 freaking frenzies. I have found this egg to be amazing. You can also, this clan likes to, similar to like Melting Remnant, kill their own units sometimes, and you can also do that with this egg. So I don't know, maybe I'll just take the egg. The only thing that sucks there is I have a really good um, uh, trinket that obviously it wouldn't make sense to put on the egg because it doesn't persist down to the drag. There's no counter on the egg. But I don't know. I, I don't think a Vesta would be the best one to put it on, but Vesta is just not useful to me until like the yeah, Overburn, which I may never find Overburn. I'd have to get through you know, a fight. Um, How do I look at the map? Can't really look at the map, huh? Um, egg, Shen, egg, Shen. What's my deck have at the moment? Not really anything yet. I mean, basically. I'll try Shen. I think... <clears throat> and I'll commit this to Shen. It won't be that strong in this metal, but at least Shen will be doing something. I think... Oh, this is going to be a tough fight. Hmm. Yeah, this the Shrudis dude is fucking a nightmare. I mean, I could put Spike up there and it would wreck him, but Spike would just absolutely die to the uh, the stuff that comes out of that. We got the blizzard here that's pretty good, and then just get spiked down here anyway. So Pop Shroom, it explodes itself into my summon, whatever. Units will be coming in soon. If I can get this guy taken care of, that would be great. So basically Shroom is the same as Poison, and Poison is brutal in this game. Could put Shen up there too. We could put. We could have it so only Shen and Spike get hit. That would put a lot of. Let's get Shen in. See what's coming in, so.
Yeah. Let's... I do need to kill this puffball. There's no way I can let this survive while this thing attacks. So I'll get absolutely wrecked. So he'll attack randomly all three into frickin' Spike. Okay. That's pretty annoying, actually. So we're not gonna get, like, anything out of Shen unless I... I could hit Shen right now, but... I would only apply one. Actually, I'd apply two and it would kill that. Maybe I should? I don't know. So basically, wait, oh yeah, overburn, I haven't really explained it. So basically what happens is, you know, you stack this overburn thing. Uh, it stays on the unit until it basically blows up. Um, the way it blows up is I need more overburn than their current health. So, you know, I could tar blaze myself for two damage here. It would count as a hit. I'd go down to four health, but I would then do my move and apply two here. Since two would match this, it would kill this unit and also do two damage here. But then I'd be at four health. It's tough to say if that's worth it or not. Um, I get. Oh, you know what? I could technically also just Sunburst Tattoo. Then I'd only do one damage to myself. The countdown by two, I think, is largely wasted there, though. I'll do it, though. Yeah, just to illustrate it. So Spike, you'll notice, has just been getting absolutely wrecked from this uh, poison. It's also annoying because the Shroom Gobbler is getting permanent flat damage every time I'm taking damage from that. I'm going to add... Sh I, I don't want to lose Spike, um, so I'm going to make... I could put Spike down here. But I would like to actually get a damage on this, just so I can kill it before it hits me again. Plus, I get all three Berry Bell here if I do this. Alright. Shroom Gobbler is going to be an issue. Uh, don't know if I'll be able to do much about this Goblin. Yeah, I think I think we just gotta try to to win this here. Do I care more about killing Shrewdies? I think I do. So let's go ahead and apply four there. Then I'm gonna try to wait for the units to come in, and then I'll bomb this thing. We'll let Jun Jun take the the hit here, because he's doing 5 damage. I don't want to take 5 on any of these. I could freeze the guy if I wanted to. Honestly, there's not much else for me to do here. Unless I want to tar blade the Shroom Gobbler. Which I actually think I do want to do. Let's just do that then. Let Jinjin Jin take the hit. I'm delaying the inevitable if I Freezer. Okay, boss comes in. Um, yeah, we just want to do this. Boom. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm telling you, the overload's good if you can work into it. We're not even... We only have Shen with the overburn. If I can add some other overburn cards, then we'll really be starting to see the greatness of it. So we're going to have to... Uh, this is a little awkward. Okay, let's go here. Kill that. But Shadow Rook is the only thing that can survive right now. We really hope that we redraw 
um, a summon. I don't think we'll need it though. Actually, 15 health, we can we can get through this. We're gonna be just fine, I think. I could technically freeze it right now. There's really no downside to it. You know, I only get the one freeze, but yeah, I might as well do that. No, we didn't get the summon, unfortunately, but I think it's fine. We'll just uh, do this. She'll put three poison on Shadow Rook, but I should be able to survive that since I put an extra health on. Um, we could just do this. And then a Tar Blade should finish it off. Boom. Beautiful. Alright, this is going much better. Try to get another banner unit, or I could get a charm. Um, or I guess I guess there's a banner unit on each side. So do I want to hit a shop or just get a free charm? I think a shop would be better. I can pay fifty gold for a charm, and then I have all this other gold that I can use. Crown, crown is what we want, really. And I have plenty of gold this time. Hmm, these aren't really necessarily who I'm looking for. You know, I already kind of have two units that want to be at the front with Shen and Spike, so it'd be weird to take Taiga. Taiga's still better than Spike, though. Like, Taiga's quite literally just a better Spike. It starts with the same stats, exactly, and... Um... actually just starts gaining more um, spikes over the course of the fight. Whereas uh, Spike does not. And Spike can't actually be removed from the field and Taiga can. So, like, Taiga is the best unit here, I feel. Barry Sis is alright too, though. And honestly, I don't know. It is a random ally, which is bad with our summons. Um... You know, it is nice to put just put the unit down and have it sort of help the other units out. At three countdown and two attack, it provides a little bit of offense. Splinter can be variant, obviously. Sometimes you can just get some crazy good effects. We could try Splinter. can also go bad for you. <laughs> but let's live a little. Tiger's Mask is pretty good, uh, but Bebop Mask is the one that is having synergy with what we're trying to do. I think we take that. Pinkberry Juice is decent too, but I think the Bebop Mask uh, definitely is calling to me. Okay, what do we got at the shop? Frost Bell, cheap. Azul Kando. That also is good with what we have. It also just has one attack on it. Costs a lot though. 55. Ooh, Blank Mask is so good. The thing with Blank Mask, I could crown it as well. Like, I've done it where I can get like two to three copies of my champion at the start of every fight before. Um, might be nice just to get a copy of Shen even. I had to imagine we're taking that card. I just don't know if I crown it or not. Like if I crown a card, what am I crowning? I don't think we would crown this card because my card, my, my best unit right now is Shen. Shen wants to be on the battlefield a little bit and like get that stat up, and then I want to copy it. So let's take Blank Mask. Now, unfortunately, I don't know that I can justify a crown here. The tough thing is, like, no matter what I buy, I can't afford anything else unless it's uh, Soulbound. I 
That's just too YOLO for me. I could do Charm and Frost Bell. I don't know that I need a Frost Bell that much, though. I guess it could be okay with Shen. Yeah, I guess we'll just not do the crown. I don't know, I think I need the crown. I'm gonna do the crown. I do want to have Shen in my opener, I'm almost certain of it. Yeah. Coco gets out of hand very fast, but Shen in front of it is going to be amazing. So we'll start like that. Hmm. <clears throat> if I have the blank mask right now, why not, right? cards do I got to go through here? One, two, three. I can, I can come back to the card. Oh, what the fuck? That is not what I meant to do. That is not what I meant to do. What the fuck, dude? This, any of these seems decent. Put this down. That's the best one, I think. Okay. Three is good enough. Let's put this here. I was trying to look at my, uh, like my, my just overall deck, and I freaking clicked that thing. You know what's funny is that might actually have been the correct call if I want to basically have Shen get the, her stats up. Okay, we could kill this immediately. Um, Trying to think what we want to do here. I actually do think I'm just going to click it again. Because I don't want this to die before this. That doesn't make... I don't want Shen to go to one health. She's already gone to two health. But yeah, let's try to... Okay. Now I can kill Makoko just fine. And I'll definitely want to... You can just do it with a tar blade. Five attack. We definitely want Shen to apply up here. Can move them both here. Um, This boss will now transform.
We might we might have wanted to wait longer on that, but whatever. Let's switch now to this. here. We go down to one health, but that's fine. We want them to both get hit. Yeah, we're sitting pretty well here. So, the summon diversion of Shen would die here. Or I could just do this. Makes more sense, right? Coco back there. You take the one hit. Just trying to think of how how much gold can I greet out here? Cause this guy's about to die. No, I don't think I can actually greed much of anything out here, because I don't want any of my guys to get injured. And Infernoco would injure them. So I think we just want to Tarblade Infernoco. Then he'll die here. I'll still get another kill here, at least. Yeah, decent amount of gold. Alright, we got through that fight. Um, now I could get my companion limit up. I don't think so. The, uh, my pet really is useless to me at this point. I mean, he's all right there, right? But, like, he's really not that useful. Um, let's just get the sun bell down. I definitely want to, like, redraw through the deck, but ideally not the way I did it there. <laughs> uh, Gnome Traveler is pretty bad here. Uh, definitely getting some gold to bling snail cave before the woolly snail is better. So we'll do that. Maybe we place our pet here. See here I would have loved to get that unit that doubles the uh, overburn. Uh, I really don't like Bonnie, like I said. None of that has changed here. Although maybe it ironically might just fit the deck right now. Um, you know, Shen... I'm not guaranteed to get like a better way to like have Shen's health facilitate taking hits. So also like the summoned unit, it'd be nice if it doesn't just immediately die. So if he had some extra health on it. So body might work. It might be better than our pet. Shikichi just doesn't have much synergy with what we have going on and Jumbo could work. Um, it'd be weird, though. Yeah, I think it's just Bonnie here. I think it's mildly better than our pet. So we'll put Spike into the... This is what, Basically, we swap it out. I don't know, Splinter? I, th I feel like Splinter is still better than Spike. Most, most of the time. Nimlin Biscuit... Um, Grabber. It's a Noomlin, which is nice. So Noomlin means I can use the card basically for free. It won't change any of the counters. Never... I, I definitely like Noomlin cards. Not really the Noomlin Biscuit all the time, though. Just because it's kind of slow. Grabber would do a damage. I could use it on my own unit. Um, some cases. 
but that Azul Battle Axe uh, is pretty good too. As we've seen, we're pretty much making an Overdrive deck. We could, in some cases, use Slap. I, I believe, if, if I remember correctly, Slap Crackers attacks your own units too. I can't remember. It might. Actually, I don't think it. I think I think you can target your own row, but whichever row you target, it will be. But I mean, that could be good. Just hit my own guy for four damage and get four um, things on it. If I can survive it, that makes a lot of sense to do. But I think the Azul Battle Axe looks pretty good. I could just take the Battle Axe and another crown. If I crown another thing, what would it be? I feel like it would be Bonnie. Just so I can get the heals out faster. Or maybe Junjun Mask, honestly. Junjun Mask, or even the... Uh... I don't think I'd want to do it with Blank Mask, because I do think waiting to get that value up higher is just pretty nice. Crown is so powerful that it feels wrong not to buy it. Charms are nice too. I'm going to take this. I could afford this and that. Let's take it. So I could do Splinter, Bonnie. I could do Blizzard Bottle. Um, I could do... Jinjin Mask. I think it's Bonnie. Just get all of our units out fast. Maybe it's the monster train in me. So we either take the Slapcrackers or we don't. The problem is once I get the floor too big, it doesn't become so good. I think we just don't take it. Right. right Grog, when hit, count down by one, so we just don't want to throw too many hits that way. And this is the opposite. This one, when hit, reduce the attacker's attack. So this one we do want to hit a lot. we can do here. Let's give our main group here the health. I haven't had too much experience fighting against this troop, so this will be new for me. A sunburst tattoo here. Well, I think we'd want to go like this. We don't want to. There's no sense attacking this guy at the moment. Um, I think we just Azul Battle Axe. This is not that good of a fight for me. See here, Splinter is either 50% of the time good, 50% of the time bad. I could kill this thing and then put it down. That probably works. Yeah, I think we're guaranteed to be able to do it. So let's go here. I want to wait for these to summon, I'm pretty sure. So, I could just freeze this. Yeah, we can do 
Unfortunately, seven is not the best breakpoint here, but um, see, I don't know it. I don't know well enough how the mechanic works here, because theoretically, in my mind, if this attacks this, then it should uh, then get this and explode, and then. Hit those so if I like if I tar blade them both theoretically they would never get their attack in seems like reasonable doesn't it Shin oh you know what I just realized that's not at all what I thought it was so grumps reduces the attackers attack by one you can see I don't have much exact. I don't have much uh, experience with this. That's not too bad with Shen, but we don't want uh, Shadow Rook to do that then. So we're fine. Like it doesn't matter if Shen has minus attack. I'm just here to apply damage and stuff. So. Let's see what this gets us. Hit countdown by one. Maybe. We have to draw back to blank mask. What do we have in here? Just tar blade. Sure, I don't accidentally click it again. I mean, I think it can exceed, so like if I were to hit this, it should blow that whole row up. Um, which means I can throw this into other stuff. Probably just do this. Let's try this. Nope, oh, it did just only do seven. So it's weird. It's not really what you'd expect, but either way, this should kill them. I guess we'll find out again if what happens here. So Bonnie is in here. I should probably move them. Okay, it did at least prevent that attack. It's been so hard to get Shen to actually get hit here. I am actually debating hitting her. Then I can at least get this blank mask to do something for me. to redraw a whole separate time? I don't know. Let's wait to see what comes in here. King Moko would hit play three to everyone in the battle. Counts for me too. Hmm. So this is kind of like rage, except imagine if rage just all went away after you make one attack. We definitely need to chump block King Mo Moko here. We can't even really chump block him because he attacks fucking five times. Luckily, any man, this, this guy is really fucked up. 
Like he resists snow, he has 10 attack, 80 health. Jesus. When he's hit, apply 3 to everyone in the battle. I think we need to use that, that portion to our advantage, it seems. Um, I think we can kill the Mayoko head just fine. So... I think Mayoko actually helps my Shen here, so... We don't want to kill the Mayoko head just yet, though. The Pepper Witch hitting me would help me. Bunny will heal, but Junjun. Don't want. I think we want Junjun to hit there, but. Need to finesse this such that they're not, like, rolling me here. It's weird, but like, I start to wonder at this point. Shen is not my best unit, clearly, because now I need Rage. Rage doesn't really work with Shen. Um, really, it's <laughs> probably the summoned Junjun. then it just dies, right? The thing is, I need the units that attack more often. I don't know, maybe it's Splinter. Let's try it. I, th I think it legitimately might have just been summoning the Junjun that was correct there, but... Eh, whatever. You have 23 by 5. And I've got a ways until that happens, I guess. We should just hit it, yeah. Hit it with the tar blades. Done 20 damage. Um, it's not quite enough. I don't think we're gonna kill him before he attacks. He's got two turns to attack. So I'm trying to think can I get basically five summons? in front of him. I think that should definitely be doable. Um, and just make sure Shadow Rook is in the back. So let's throw you out. Actually, we should redraw... F should we redraw first? I'm gonna only get... I'm only gonna have Jinjin Mask coming up, so let's keep Bonnie in. I don't want Shen to die, though. I need Shen to be good. So let's summon this. 
body dies, whatever. So he'll clear out all of this. I guess Splinter would die too, though. Well, I could freeze him for one here, and then I can take Splinter out. At least, get he, at least he gets his attack in then. We're close to actually killing him. Uh, actually, we will kill him with the Shadow Rope. Yeah, he has 22 health. I could actually just jump ahead of his turn here by doing this. Let's just do that. Beautiful. Okay. Getting toward the end here. Bite box. Berry basket. don't like the leech mask here. That's just going to be a little awkward. Um, maybe it works. I don't know. It would add me another unit that could hit me. It's weird. It's like you summon an enemy that is relatively quick, does some damage with two, so like I could use that to hit my own unit, but also it would take two health from all of the other enemies every time it attacks. I don't know. I don't think it's like gonna necessarily work that well. It could. I just don't think it will. There's the bite box. Now that thing is just a one-time super card. I feel like berry basket isn't massively better than the berry bell. Between Berry Bell and Bonnie, I just don't think I need that, but Bite Box could definitely do something. Do Muncher. A banner unit. Maybe replace the healer. Or go for a charm. I think the Muncher is pretty useful here. Just get rid of these tar blades. Do this. Alright, Foxy's good when you have buffs for it, but we don't have any we don't have any buffs. Um Snuffle is just pretty good kinda. Probably better than Bonnie. Um we Munch can't be good, but I don't know. Um want a more a more heavy on the summons, I think. Uh Munch could make these turns pretty awkward, like, especially when I, it would be potentially a really good blank mass target, though. Not really, though, because it's eventually, well, they eat each other. That's fine, right? You could eat your own summon, basically double your stats. I just don't know. I've had it I've had it where Monch basically loses me runs because I just can't like make it work. I mean I can always throw him off the board, but I don't think I'm getting a whole lot out of Bonnie, so Monch is definitely somewhat enticing. I think it's just Snoffle though. A nice utility unit, which is what Bonnie was doing for us anyway. But this utility unit freezes the entire enemy board. It's quite a bit better. These guys are annoying. The frickin' uh, spikes. But Shen should be good into them. Shen into the Gromble will be really good. Oh, I just realized something. I put the frickin' crown on Bonnie. Damn it. Well, 
that sucks. Uh, it would be really good if it hits the marrow. I don't think it would be good if it hits the smug, so I'm kind of relying on Grumble hitting Sean, Shen. So, let's get the Snuffle in. I might have really fucked up by not putting Bonnie in. So this is gonna... It will, even though I have zero attack, it will hit me with those spikes. It's too bad. Well, I guess I could go here. Then this one doesn't have the spikes. Then I just freeze smog. I can go back here, take the grumble hit. Uh, Shatter could take this hit. And Jinjin Jin could hit Mero as well. And we do this. up so that this explodes next turn maybe with Shen. I think we can, we can blank mask Shen now. Alright, you can go here. Three won't be enough though, but if I follow it up with that it should be. Alternatively, if I were to tar blade here, technically this kills it. Then I don't waste five damage. It would be kind of weird to tar blade for one here, but I guess it makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, it makes sense because I don't want to waste five damage. And I guess I waste I waste the damage either way, but I waste less of it there. Uh, we can put this here. And this should blow. I want to keep them alive. Um, you'd attack for one. Should put you in the front then. Three in there. Could do this again. Should I be putting health on Shadow Rook? Probably. Wait, why am I aimless? Oh, right. <sighs> totally missed that Smog does that. I think I got lucky on a few hits then. 
that's a bit annoying. Uh, well, we can't, we don't want her to die. I also don't want to use Bite Box on that guy. So we could just summon a... A new guy. Five. If I summon a new guy, it will survive that hit and then tank that hit. If that makes sense. bite box in. I think we just try to play this. There we go. We actually might just freeze this. I need to tank against that grumble. I do you think we want to freeze this? It's one of the few bosses that doesn't have that thing, so might as well. Chinjin, though. It still loses the frost fast when it gets hit, I believe. I could just cycle back to the frost, though. We could basically permafrost the boss. Uh, it might be worth just trying to kill these units, though. Uh, so Splinter... We wouldn't really want to add Aimless to the enemies that could actually backfire on me. Just do this and that kills that. Alright, our summons are down. Um... Get this guy in just to start tanking those hits. Actually, should just do that, right? Alright, frost this guy. This wasn't too bad, actually. I've had problems with this fight, some other builds, but this build actually frickin' wrecked it. <laughs> Wait, Splinter didn't get anything. That's interesting. I guess it could technically get nothing. I guess that's the case. when that happens. Here we go. Boom. See ya. Alright, Charm Merchant. Again, it's like, just awkward. I don't want to go like Merchant Merchant. I'll take a treasure over that. Even with the money, it's like... I mean, I guess I could just be really picky. Maybe it, maybe it is better to go Merchant Merchant here. I mean, do I need more spells at this point? Are there even any spells that would be that massively good for me? Well, yeah. The one that doubles the thing. I guess we'll go Treasure. I'll put the crown on uh, something. Could add some more frost, I guess. Uh, sunlight drum. I don't know that it, this is normally pretty good, but I know that I necessarily need it. I'm 
Wish I could take that crown off. Can I? I think I can. Um, I wonder if I should put Bonnie back in, though, for the unit that, uh... I never really use that unit that gets the random stats when it gets played down. I think I will actually put Bonnie back in. The heals would have been nice, that fight. Um... I might just take Snowcake. It consumes, but it could, it basically just deletes one of the problematic minions from the game. And before I forget, let's do that. Let's get rid of Splinter. Let's put Bonnie back in. She has the crown, might as well, it's a free play. Demon Heart has always been a weird card for me. Um, it could be pretty good though, if you can use it on a turn where either you use your own small damage onto the unit to follow it up, or have like a low attack enemy hit you, you can make some health. It's just like, it's not that high impact though. The Azul Kanda though, that's like exactly what we were looking for, right? I think we definitely take that. Blaze T can be good sometimes. I don't think on our build we need it. Um, let's check though. It'd be okay on Shadow Rook. Be sometimes good on Shen. I don't think it actually would be good on Shen. I think we'd rather just hit more often. It does double the value. I don't know. It's, it's generally positive. Uh, it could be good on. I mean, it could be good on any of them. Truthfully. I don't know, maybe we add it. I definitely need to add the crown, though. I want... All of... Even Snuffle down at the start. Um, that just... It really helps just with everything. Alright. We've got everybody coming out at the beginning, which is nice. Um, they got 95 gold. Unfortunately, it's not 96, or it's not 106, because then I could do both of them. Too late for Palm Bomb to be that good, I feel. So, I think I'm just going to take a charm. <sighs> the worst one in the game. Literally the worst one in the game. Um, I guess I could pseudo-remove... A tar blade with it. So bad. Such a freaking brick. That literally couldn't have been worse. There's nothing that could have been worse. <laughs> Whatever. Crunker. Crunker can be hard. So you'll notice he uses scrap as his health, and he has these this bombard mechanic, which definitely makes things tough for me. You know, I need to also pay attention. I don't know if like on the map I can tell who I'm facing. If I can, then I could be able to prepare accordingly, because I I have no idea. Uh, this is definitely not the unit we want to have like all of our units out with, but I don't have much choice, I think. Eight damage, just ridiculous. We gotta really hope that uh, either Frost or Summons come. I mean, I could act- he doesn't have Frost resistance, so I could just permanently Frost him. There still is the annoyance of Spuncher, though. Like, he does a lot of damage over time. Just by nature of being a 3 count, 3 attack with 15 health. Grink is annoying. But that's mainly just Grink. He's just annoying. Yeah, we got the snow cake. I have to imagine we just use that here. I can use it. I can use it whenever. I think we're probably okay to get this in first.
The Grink hitting my Shen is actually really good. I want to keep the Grink alive. Who do we want Spuncher to hit? Do we just want it to hit Junjun? I do want to... I could do this, and... I get my two attack in. But it just dies because it's a summon anyway, after it attacks, so... I might just want the permanent health of... on these... Oh, would I rather would I rather have Bonnie of the Health or Snuffle? That's a question. I think for now, Bonnie. Let Grink hit again. Be nice. I can wait for these units to spawn in. I'm going to try to be more greedy with the blank mask this time. Put that there. Yeah, Bonnie's actually legit here. Three good enough? I think it is. Smackback is annoying, for sure. I don't want to take seven here, but actually... This Ice Forge having two scrap is pretty annoying. You know, I'll be honest, I don't know how... I don't think that these are allowed to have the overburn applied to them. I think they just lose a scrap. I'm just going to Tarblade this. I don't want this thing to do four. But yeah, that should kill that. Perfect. Oh yeah, that thing hit there. I guess it didn't matter, but... Right, we, the thing that, yeah, we still don't want to let our guys hit the spike wall, if we can help it. Still has seven. We can hold that. wait for those to come in. We want to wait on this as long as possible, I think. It's 
pretty nice, actually. Bonnie keeps the summons alive. I've underestimated her. She's doing great this fight. I think I can't counterattack when it's frozen like this. So let's do that and also take off. Oh, it actually did use. I, I don't know how that. I don't know what just happened there. I can't make sense of just what the interaction between. Like, I don't know why this thing died or why it triggered Overburn. But yet it's still alive. I guess the overburn does work with this. It just works oddly. <laughs> I don't know. I'll take it. These guys are unfortunately coming in at a weird turn here, but I don't think there's much I can do about that. Oh wow, there's more. I thought that would just been it. Well, maybe we need to start working on this clunker. Then. I think. We may actually want to just draw here. We're taking all this out anyway. Yeah, now I have at least the freeze and the berry bell ready to go, depending on what comes out. I want to still give the full health down here. Exactly. Yeah, now he has. Oof. I mean, he's only down to three attack at least, but. This is where it's, you know, good that we've at least got health spread out on our units a little bit. Um. Freeze him a little bit here. Oh, that's it. <laughs> okay, we got this. Uh, we got this for sure. So you're doing three there, three there, three there. Wait, where is all the bombarding happen? He's like hitting his own shit too. doesn't matter, he's only doing a three attack, so let's do this. Doing good work, Bonnie. Doing good work. You got hit by Snuffles Frost as well. 
Uh, we could Azul Candle him, but we might as well wait on that. Three attack. Just make sure nobody's actually dying that we care about. And we can actually stall you one more turn. And that. And we'll finish with Azul Candle. Boom. Beautiful. know that we benefit from a companion limit increase. Uh, we already have a full board. This is my problem with the companion limit. It's like, it doesn't give me more space. Uh, so we might just do card draw. Yeah, I mean, why not? I think that's the crew right there. Frostlands. Don't got much money, but sh yeah, so we'll just do a shade sculptor. So... I gotta be honest, um, another blank mask is tempting, it is tempting, maybe another snow cake is even more tempting though, that was like pretty clutch, berry bell, blizzard bottle, Maybe just Blizzard Bottle? I don't know. Just so I have another... thing there. No, I think it's Snow Cake. I think it is. Depending on what comes up. I don't have a whole lot of experience with this full-on end endgame here. So Crab has three Blanc, a lot of damage. Burster applies one Haze, and has Resist Snow, so good thing we duped the frickin' thing. Fuck us, right? At least they're pr relatively slow. It's the only positive there, really. I can make it so Crab ne pretty much never attacks. Which I think we want to do. Hmm. I'm going to make it Shen going here. Because that's how the interaction would work. That is pretty bad. Well, is it unrecoverable? I don't think so. I don't think so. Probably did that in the wrong order. I just want to see what comes out. But you need to go down here. 
can one-shot that guy. I can one-shot this whole row, which I will do here. So, five. Oh, but you know what? It's not, it's not gonna work. I need... Hmm. Yeah, I really fucked up. Well, it just shows my lack of experience with this fight. I haven't seen those guys before. For some reason I was thinking... I don't know why. I, I thought they were aimless themselves, so putting Shen in front... Yeah, that was definitely pretty bad. I could have just put Snoffle or something in front there. Or the healer in front, that would have been... And unfortunately you can't... you cannot replay fights. You know? So... Makes it tough to practice on the end game. So, yeah, like, healer in front and snuffle in front would have just countered that so much, so easily, but that's just a lack of experience on my part. Oh well. What do we do then? Get one of these in. Do I take four here? Should just do this, right? If I do this here, it does take that whole group out, right? So if I go like this... Okay, that's pretty good. I wish I could slow Shen down here. I could technically hit the Blizzard bottle, but that's too much. Um, I should probably slow this Burster down, if anything. Oh, well, maybe the Crab. I mean, if Burster hits Jin Jin, is it? Uh, bite Box hasn't been that good for me. Maybe I just bite the bullet with the Bite Box here. So I don't even want to take two damage from the other thing. Numb Skull. While active, add Hog Headed to all enemies. Snow cake, but I don't know. This guy's almost dead. Same with that one. Just save it. Crawler is the one that's about to attack. Block with this Junjin. Um, we could also, we should put you here, get this guy's, uh, attack down, get him frosted. We'll just start summoning things. Could 
do this. Um, might be in my interest to actually do this. Okay, the four there hits there. Maybe we should let him stay alive. Let's do this instead. Well, he dies anyway, though. Get this just down. We'd rather have this probably block the burster. Crab is about to attack, though. Fuck. Well, we'll block it with Jun Jun. Hmm. I can't really do a good turn here. Um. No, I can. I can do a good turn. So. Do it like this. Have that get. Blocking Numbskull, then Burster hits the Bebop, and then we'll Snowcake, and then we'll Blizzard Bottle this, and whatever comes out here, maybe we'll Snowcake. The, oh, none of this stuff is good to Snowcake. I'm getting through it here, but man, this fight would be a million times easier if I'd just done the right thing turn one. I need to get these summons in. So I need to block this sooner than later. The burster is actually just the thing I need to always be most worried about here. Right, Numb Skull will also do this. Might as well do that. That just takes care of this guy. is done for. Alright, we got through it. That massive mistake was almost discouraging, but looks like we got no issues here. We've taken an skull. Let's 
just need to get as many of these in, I guess, as possible. A lot of barrier to get through. Just glad this guy doesn't like resummon and stuff. bad. It doesn't actually even hurt her heal, I believe. Yeah, her heal is still the same. It's, it's just one less HP. Yeah, okay, I got 177 gold, and then we'll be at the final there. I think I definitely want to hit the muncher, though, instead of the woolly snail. I don't know. I've already got the crowns and everything I need crowns on. It does kind of suck to not use this gold, I guess. I could get a bunch of charms, but removals are so nice. I just removed the other two tar blades. And then I'm basically getting everything back every turn that I need. I think that's better. Hopefully I won't need those tar blades. Tiger charm. Gain one when hit. That could be good on you know who. Especially, I think when you clone the unit, it gets the trinket value too. That'll be good. Make sure I'm given the right tar blade. Alright. So we're gonna fight previous iteration of what I've won the game with. Uh, that's kind of a cool aspect of the game. So I used, you can see, kind of that gear clan I was playing, and just a lot of. It's gonna be tough because it was a good deck that I just had. As you can see, these units are good. So big berry. I don't know how recycle is gonna work with the enemy though. I assume they're just able to do it, no matter what. Find out. So, six attack, we would want... Man, I don't know though, I don't know that I would want... Bomb being applied to Shen, I don't think I would. Hmm, so when Mini Mika is hit... They gain frenzy. All allies. These are super buffed up versions of them. Damn, look at this guy. This is gonna be tough. Alright, well, whatever. It doesn't really matter where we put them at the moment. We're definitely gonna wanna have as many summons in as possible. Barrage could be a tricky thing to figure out, too. Who do I want to permafrost? Big Berry or Mini Mika? Or Fizzle? Because Fizzle will cut through my summons. And it's pretty fast. know if I can beat this. I think it's I think we gotta take out Mini Mika though. Really wish I would have got Jinjin mask here. Okay, let's do that. 
That guy's just gonna output too much damage for me to deal with. Then I'll freeze Fizzle. Wizwiff's just gonna get hits in. Um. There's my other permafrost, but I may want to wait and see what comes in. Also wondering, like, against this stuff, is Shen the best still to blank mask? Not entirely sure. Fizzle will keep putting... Okay, what is this? While active, add one to all allies. Shit. Hit play one to the attacker. Okay. guy coming in right here is not the greatest. Hmm. And now is where pulling this guy forward would be great. Because I could actually, if I could have pulled him forward previously, I could burst tattoo and get this guy his attack nerfed. But we have to deal with this hit. If I don't want someone to die here, what I could do is throw one of them back. I could throw Bonnie back. Permafrost fizzle. How do I take a rock hog out? I think we'll figure it out later. Oh shit, that's right, he went up there. Fuck. Well, that might have. That might have cost us it. Oh well. I think I've made two... It's going to be tough to take this group out. I've made like too strong of a fucking group here. I too... We're just going to have to do this now. I don't have time to not do that.
some reason I was thinking that would just heal, not give permanent health. Now I've really fucked myself over. Because I was going to be able to kill the rock hog by doing that. There's like nothing I can do now. Yeah, I've... Well, oh well. It was a fun run anyway. Um, keeping in mind what I have to face here, this is just not the type of deck to beat it. If I were thinking ahead properly, honestly forgot this aspect of it. Um, hmm. No, we're just dead no matter what, right? I can't stop this guy. I really wish that Resist Snow had better ways to... <laughs> I wish it at least, like, maybe just made it so it only applies once. But, like, maxing it to one is just brutal. These guys have so much fucking health. It's because I let the big berry feast. That four attack is just brutal. guy attacks first. I don't see any world where I survive here. attack and I didn't even notice. Oh, it, yeah, it did. Alright, well. All considered, it wasn't that good of a deck anyway. Um, to go back to the drawing board. Anyway, though, that's the game. I mean, even though I didn't beat it there, you can see it's not, like, massively impossible. It's not this ridiculously hard thing that it's being made out. Or, it's hard. In a good way, though. Like, like on that run, I could probably trace back through it and find a way to have won it. Um, that's my first day playing, so theoretically, I should get better. And yeah, we'll see. Anyway, as always, thanks for watching, and until next time, peace.